Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, I told you about different parts of a robot and compared them with organs of a human being. If you haven't seen that yet, please go through that. The link is in the description. In this video, I will show you how to assemble those parts and build your own robot. In this four part video series, we will explain everything you need to know about robotics for getting started. We will show you how to plan a robot, what are the things to be taken care of before setting up the robot chassis, choosing the battery and the microcontroller, and everything to be taken care of before building a robot. In the fourth video, we will use everything we learned in the previous videos from this series to build your own robot. If you are new to our channel, just to let you know that we upload and share video tutorials on Raspberry Pi, Arduino and their accessory boards and we build robots, home automation systems and other fun hobby projects. We create and upload new projects tutorials every week. If you are a hobbyist or a Raspberry Pi or Arduino enthusiast, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and click on the bell icon next to it so that you won't miss our future projects. Free giveaways will be on next month so make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Now let's start building your robot. Step 1. Plan your robot. First decide what you want to build. Decide what you want your robot to do. For example, a line follower that will follow a path without human intervention. Step 2. Know the inputs. Understand what all are the inputs and outputs. For the robot to do whatever you want to do, it should collect relevant data from the environment in order to process and respond to it. So find out what all things it need to know to perform that particular action. In the case of a line follower, we need something that can sense the color of the path in front of it. For that, we can use an IR sensor or a color sensor. Step 3. Processing the input and making decisions. Once we have collected all the input parameters, we will have to feed it to the brain for processing. We have to process the inputs and make the robot to make the right decision in various conditions. In the case of our line follower, we can have an Arduino microcontroller board or a simple logic circuit that will act as its brain. The circuit will read all the inputs from the IR sensors, process it and send the decisions or outputs to the motor driver board which will drive the motor. Step 4. The Output Now the robot knows what to do. Now we need to execute the desired action or output. For that we will use an actuator. An actuator can be an electromechanical device like DC motor or servo motor which will convert electrical energy to mechanical energy. In the case of a line follower, when the black line is curved towards left, it should go left. When the black line turns right, the robot should go right. For that, we will have two DC motors which will drive the boat. Step 5. Powering up the robot. Our robot is almost ready. All you need is a power source to power everything up. Remember, you have to power all the devices including the sensors, microcontroller board and the motor drivers. You have to choose the right power source for your robot. Different components have different voltage range for its working, below which it won't work or above which it will burn off the component. So choosing the right power source can be a crucial task. Step 6. Choosing the robot chassis. Chassis is a frame where you mount all the parts of a robot together. You can either build one yourself or get one online. These are the qualities of a good robot chassis. It should have enough space for all the components, provide good mechanical support, have mounting screws and holes where you can fix all the components in place, have enough strength to hold the entire weight of the components. Here are some of the best robot chassis which are available online to make your own robot. The link will be in the description below. In the next video of this series, I will help you choose the right microcontroller for your first robot. As mentioned earlier, our next giveaway will be on coming month. So make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to your YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. And tell me which is your favorite microcontroller you use for your projects in the comments. See you soon guys.